Hello, Northgate. Pastor Matt asked me to share a shortened version of my story, and my prayer is that it may encourage you to see the goodness of God and the hope of Jesus Christ, even in the toughest of times. It is interesting to me how the circumstances in our lives can shape the way we view a particular word. This past winter, the word that dramatically changed for me is hope. I am ever so aware of this word because of what the Lord allowed me to experience. I have felt the calling of motherhood since I was just 11 years old. During my very first babysitting job, I have always hoped for many children to be in my home to share the love of Jesus. My husband and I were elated to bring our daughter home from the hospital seven years ago. And even on that day, the hope for more children grew deeper. After five years of trying for another baby ended in a miscarriage, I was desperately losing hope. Losing hope in my dream becoming a reality. Losing hope in a mom lifestyle that I so desperately wanted. And losing hope that prayers would be answered. This past August, I surprisingly became pregnant. My hope in growing our family skyrocketed. But as high as my hopes were raised, That hope came crashing down to a place where ashes were left in what felt like every area of our life. Our miracle baby was diagnosed with a congenital diaphragmatic hernia and trisomy 18, a combination that meant we would not be bringing a baby home. What of hope now? When we first found out that we were pregnant, God gave me the name Amaris, which means God has promised. In my mind, I thought God gave me the name because he was coming through on his promise to give me the desires of my heart. Oh, how I hoped for this moment to be pregnant and to grow our family. When we found out that Amaris had a hernia in her diaphragm, allowing her organs to crowd her heart and lungs, the middle name Hope was given to me from the Lord. Her full name means God has promised hope. In my mind, I thought God was going to show his power and glory and a fulfillment of hope through a rocky road that led to Amaris's healing. I held on to hope for a healing, like a young child clings to their precious stuffed animal. It's the only thing I could think of to do. But when we found that she had full trisomy 18, The name Amaris Hope seemed quite silly to me. The combination of diagnoses meant doctors would not intervene to help my baby. She would be left to pass away on her own. I began to doubt the name I heard from the Lord. How could I give a baby who will surely die a name that means God has promised hope? Her story felt completely hopeless. I spent a lot of time just crying out to God. I also had to make the decision to stop my out-of-control thoughts during my grieving and repeat aloud to myself, God is good, even when I felt no goodness at all. The revelation of why God chose the name Amaris Hope didn't come overnight, but through talking to God through prayer. God helped me to see that he had given my baby the perfect name for her life. God has promised hope, and that hope he has promised is the hope through his son, Jesus Christ. I was on a sidetrack journey of attempting to find hope in my dreams coming true for what I had pictured for my life. This was a false sense of hope, as proven through the ups and downs of my hope through this one situation in my life. My hope is not found in the picture of what I have for my family, nor is it found in how I want my prayers to be answered. 
Hope is not found in a miraculous healing. The size or condition of my home, the behavior of my daughter, the accolades of those around me, the number on a scale, or at the bottom of a wine glass. My hope is found in Jesus Christ, who was, who is, and is yet to come. My hope is found in Jesus, who is my rock, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords. My hope is in Jesus, who loves me not because of anything I have done, but loves me unconditionally. My hope is in my Savior, who lived a sinless life and sacrificed himself for me and for you, and who went to prepare a place for us and my Ameris hope. This source of hope through Jesus Christ is never ending. It's constant and assured. It allows me to live the rest of my life with hope because I know I will see my precious Ameris hope in heaven. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us by promising us everlasting hope through your Son, Jesus Christ.